what's kept me fascinated about microbiology for 30 years is that there is so much that's still not understood about how microorganisms work, the various reactions that they can carry out, that uh, we're always finding out something new. And it just, it just, it's fascinating. The overarching theme in our laboratory is environmental biotechnology. And that basically is any study that can help improve the environment uh, directly or for the generation of, say, fuels or chemicals in a greener or more sustainable manner than they are typically done now. We're really interested in anaerobic microorganisms, and an anaerobic microbe is one that grows in the absence of oxygen. In fact, oxygen is poison to a microorganism. It has to stay out of the air. Uh, and we're so fascinated with them because they can carry out such novel chemical reactions. And these chemical reactions are turned out to be very useful for cleaning up the environment and also uh, for producing uh, things like transportation fuels and uh, valuable chemicals. Another major focus of research in our laboratory is something we call bioelectronics. And this takes advantage of the fact that some microorganisms can make electrical connections with electronic materials. So you can use this fact to, say, produce electricity from waste or even mud at the bottom of the ocean to power electronic devices. And we've uh, discovered in uh, developing those applications some of the aspects of these microorganisms that they produce novel electronic materials. They produce uh, very fine wires called microbial nanowires that function in a manner fairly similar to a, uh, the wires we're all familiar with. They have a metallic-like conductivity, but they're very tiny. So I think there'll be a lot of applications in uh, nanoelectronic, small electronic devices. Another example of research in our lab is the conversion of organic matter to methane gas. So this is a technology that's been around for probably at least 100 years uh, for generating methane gas, basically natural gas, a great fuel uh, from waste material. However, it hasn't taken, uh, hasn't been accepted that well because of some of the limitations. It's slow, it can be unstable. But in our research, we've recently discovered that the way this, these whole methane producing systems work is much different than people have thought for over 40 years. And once you understand how the system really works, it's easier to manipulate it, make it faster, make it more stable. And uh, we're really uh, focused on that aspect of our research right now. I think one of the ways that our research will affect people's lives in the next couple of decades is this process we recently developed called microbial electrosynthesis. So this is a strategy for using renewable electricity from sunlight or wind and uh, feeding that electricity to the microorganisms which they'll then use that energy uh, to produce useful commodities. These can be transportation fuels, such as gasoline substitutes, and other uh, useful chemicals that typically now come from, from petroleum. So this will be a greener and more sustainable way of uh, producing those uh, things we all need. Some of the practical applications of the basic findings we've made in our lab uh, have been, uh, for example, in the field of bioremediation. I mean, we've discovered new ways for removing uh, both petroleum contaminants and also uh, metal contaminants, uranium, for example, uh, from groundwater. We also are, I think, making great strides in this field of bioelectronics. This uh, ability to produce electricity with microorganisms already shows a lot of promise for uh, sensors and for uh, powering electronics, say, at the bottom of the ocean. This is something the Navy funds us to work on, uh, simpler and uh, cheaper to just extract electricity from the mud in the ocean, then go back with a diver or a submarine to swap out you know, the, the D batteries every six months. Um, I, and then there's a lot of interest, of course, in this microbial electrosynthesis concept, because that's a large scale a bioenergy strategy that's totally different than all the other bioenergy research going on at this point. And in my opinion, much more environmentally sustainable and something that could truly be run at an efficient way at a large scale and really help us uh, remove a lot of our uh, dependence on oil. The future for science is very bright. I'm highly optimistic. Uh, support for science, I believe, is strong, basically universally in our country and actually in the world. Everyone understands the benefits of it. The rate of uh, discovery just keeps increasing exponentially. 
And I think uh, that contributes not only, of course, to our basic knowledge of how the world works, but it's proven that these basic discoveries turn into novel technologies that help all of us.